Thank you. I'm so really excited, really happy to be here with all of you. I, um, Catherine and I have worked together before. Some of you know, some of you maybe don't know me. Um, and we had the studio out here, Karma Yoga in San Diego. And we met in India years ago, Catherine and I, um, which was a destiny, a really sweet way to meet. And um, I'm just so happy to be back working with Catherine and working with all of you, getting to be together to do this. And it's really neat that it's all women so far because that makes a really sweet um, group of cleansers. And I'm gonna go over just a little bit about what cleansing is. I've been doing this. I did the math um, 27, 28 years ago was my first cleanse that I did. Oh my um, and yeah, it's <laughs> a long time. That's a long and, time. Yeah. And I've been doing it, I won't say every year since then, but definitely for the last 15 years, it's been a huge part of my life. And I've seen so much healing in my own life, my own practice. And I really work with so many of my students, my clients um, through these cleanses. And it's just like tenfold what you get out of it, what you learn about your own self doing these kind of processes. And then the choices that you get to make about what you want to do in your life, they're, they become very conscious. So, you know, the first thing I want to say about cleansing is that it isn't about deprivation and certainly not when you're doing a cleanse with me. It's really heavily putting that um, focus on self-care and your own well-being. So that's the number one thing I, I want to really lay that foundation. Um, like I said, I did my first cleanse 28 years ago. And the first one I did was really intense, um, meaning that I didn't have a lot of guidance. So I had a lot of questions, but I didn't really feel comfortable asking all of them. Um, so I, I really went through it in a tough way. And um, I mean, obviously, it, it, it did some lasting seeds were planted and it did some great things because I'm still doing it this many years later, but it really laid the foundation for what I created um, for this cleanse, the Healing for Life cleanse. And if you look at that, that really is what this is about. It's about bringing healing into every part of your life and bringing it in in a way that it's about your soul connection and what your own destiny is. And that's different for everybody. So I do a lot of individual work with each of you. Um, and then there's the group aspect of, as well. And it's so neat to be together in the group energy because it carries us in times when we're having our own kind of day of like, oh my God, this is really intense. This is really heavy. Or I, you know, I want to eat something that's, you know, emotionally makes me feel better. And when we can tap into that group energy, it really carries us through. So that's a nice thing about doing it in a group energy. And then it's really nice to have that personal as well, because we can really mind deeply into certain things and you can feel very comfortable to go into that deep space for yourself. Um, and another thing, it isn't, you know, this isn't my journey. This each, each one of you is going to have your own journey and it really is about you. It starts with you. It starts with right where you're at. And I'm just there as a coach, a mentor, a guide to really support you and create that really nurturing space where you can make those choices and you can identify what you want to work on and also see how truly you do already have so many of these things in your life. And so a lot of it is about just redefining your own definition of success and really seeing where you are successful in your own life. That's another big part of, of this cleanse, the way that I like to run it. Um, I'm a lifelong yogi. I started practicing when I was in my teenage years and really got into it um, in my mid-20s. Uh, I lived in ashrams all over the world and also here in the U.S. So uh, my life has really been about community in a lot of ways. And that brings good things and challenging things, too. So I've gotten to really grow up in that um, community aspect. So I bring a lot of that into everything that I do. Um, so that's going to be neat for us to get to really be a community during this time. So I know you've all seen all of our promotion about register early and, and figure it out all early. And the reason for that is that 
it is very individual and I do a lot of pre-work with you and you want to be able to take the time to be thoughtful in filling out your questionnaire that I send to you ahead of time. Be thoughtful about what products you want to use. If you want to get my products, that's amazing. You want, if you have some things of, you know, already that can work, that's awesome. Or if you want to, um, you know, find everything on your own, that that's also doable and anywhere in between. So having the time gives you that luxury to do it in an easy way or in a state of ease, which will make it really fun for you. And that's something that I've learned about doing this kind of a cleanse where it isn't like, oh, I'm going to just do it last minute and I'm going to kind of throw it together. And hopefully where we really set our intention away from the very beginning, it's about setting an intention and it's about putting yourself at the top of that list. And especially for women, no matter what generation, but any woman that's on the planet right now, we were not originally trained, whether it was through our genetic coding or whether it was what was, you know, nurture and taught to us that we were to be first. So that's really something that we're healing by doing this, by making these choices to move ourselves up on the list. Um, <laughs> Yay! I feel like I just said a lot. <laughs> Um, we do want to encourage you that if you have questions, you can like maybe raise your hand and we'll also have questions in chat sections, but feel free that you can, you know, ask a question anytime. Perfect. Yes, absolutely. So the cleanse, this one is really, um, I do many versions of this, meaning many lengths of time, but this is the, the first step. And also it's like a reboot step. So this is a four day cleanse. and there's a, a lot of coding within that why it's a four-day cleanse and what it is is really it's it's three days or a 72-hour cycle and what changes in our body in 72 hours is really the first step for any kind of lasting change so it's that cycle that everything is built on it's that first foundation of all change that happens every cell in our body is copied within a 72-hour period so if you've ever said like, oh, I'm going to, you know, eat healthy for a few days and you notice by day two, you're like, oh, things are changing. And by day three, you're like, whoa, I could really do this for a little while. It's because you've gone through that 72 hour cycle. And the same works the opposite way. If you kind of said, oh, I'm stressed. I'm not going to worry about what I'm eating. I'm just going to eat all those things that like the programming says are comfortable. I'm just going to eat all the quote unquote, you know, cozy stuff. Yeah the sugar, the quick carbs, all those things. And I'm going to do that. And you do it after two days. You're like, oh, things are starting to shift. I don't have as much energy. I'm so tired. I can't get out of bed. Day three, you're like, whoa, I got to really look at this. And again, that's because you've gone through that 72 hour cycle. So it's neat to really have that observation about what cycles do for you in your life. And this is a four day cleanse, but I like to talk about it as a 40 day personal process, which means you're going to have a yoga set to do. And if you want to continue on with that after the four days, you can commit to that for a week or you can do it for 40 days, whatever you decide. Same with your meditation. It's a really nice meditation that we're doing this time. It's actually for the eve of the full moon. Um, you can do it anytime, but it's the most potent. So if you kept doing that, on and on, even for the rest of the year, it's something you could have a little experience with of hitting that eve of the full moon throughout the year and seeing that greater cycle. So a lot of what I start to work with you individually and as a group is how cycles mean things to us in our lives. And really to start to look at that emotional cycle, which is the moon, she guides us in everything we do in our lives. And so when we start to tune into that water element, that moon element, and especially for this season, we're moving into this kapha season, which means earth and water. So we're becoming more grounded. We're becoming more alive, more flowy. It's really a beautiful time to be doing this. And one of the most important times as we look at Ayurveda to be concentrating on our consciousness and our mindful self and our physical self when we're moving from winter into spring. Everything is waking up, right? Like I was outside doing my yoga this morning and the birds are just tweeting on a whole new level. So it's, it's really beautiful that we're waking up the same way as all of nature is. So to do something like this at this time, very impactful for the rest of your year. 
So I have a question. Yes. How many on this call have ever done a cleanse of any type? Who has? Mm -hmm. Raise your hand. Anybody? Okay, so Pat. Oh, so see, we have some first-time cleansers here, which is really awesome. And um, I bet you have a lot of questions because an Ayurvedic cleanse is super different than the ones you see out on the internet and the market, like juice cleanses or master cleanses. They're very sometimes depleting and depriving. It's completely different. So that's why I wanted to take a little poll there. Yeah, I love I, I really I love working with everywhere in between, but there's something very sweet about someone's first first cleanse experience. And as I shared with you, mine was not phenomenal. So I love to really, you know, pay that forward and, and support you so that hopefully your first time is something that's very nurturing. Um, and like Catherine was saying, this isn't like other cleanses where it's very, it's not, I don't want to say it's, it's not strict. I mean, really, we're going to decide what works for you. There is a dinacharya routine, which means a daily practice or something that you're daily devoted to that rhythm, something that happens the same times every day. Um, but I'll work with you because everyone's life is different. And so you may move things around on that schedule so that they're more inviting for you. Mm -hmm. And um, that's something I really work with you is creating that longing for these processes and these things. Because when it's something that someone's telling you you have to do, none of us want to lean into that, right? We're always going to be looking for like, well, how do I get out of that? Someone's making me do this. I feel that pressure. <laughs> right? That's our nature. And so when we can really create that longing, like, I want this in my life, I want some nurturing in my life, and that leaning into that is really such a beautiful way to do things. So that's where we're coming from. We're, we're really going to move in a place of using ancient rhythms, ancient treatments, technologies, all this beautiful um, products that I use. So I'm going to talk about those a little bit. These are all ancient processes and techniques to clean the body and nourish the body so i've created this line of products and if you've seen some of these things we've been um, putting out you'll know a little bit about this i did not start out like oh yeah i'm gonna make some products um i really was just a, a yogi and someone who wanted great products and i couldn't really find them and i certainly couldn't find them all in one place and so it took me so much energy to to get the things that i wanted and then I'd finally get stuff that I liked and then somebody would stop making something. And so I finally said, okay, I've got to create this because it needs to be easy to access. It needs to be consistent and people need to be able to, to get it so that they can do these processes and really have that consistency with them. So that's how my little product line, Sat G Organic was born. And I'm going to talk about and show you four of the different things that um, we're going to use in this cleanse today. And I'm going to start where I start every morning. Um, the first thing I do is scrape my tongue. I didn't bring my scraper down, but if you don't know what that process is, I'll go into more deal, detail about that um, when we do our orientation, but you can definitely ask about that. Um, but it actually just takes the layer of all of the ama that's been processed out up into the mouth. So it's all of the unprocessed emotions and physical toxins in your body Every night while we're resting, our organs are doing this work to bring it out and to push it out. So one of the places it comes out is the sinuses and the mouth. This is where most of the stuff is. So we really want to do some work to just um, get it out, to expel it out of, out of all of the areas. So the first thing I do is tongue scrape, brush teeth, and then the next thing I do is oil pulling. So I'm going to get that right up close. And oil pulling. That's what yeah. Said. Oil pulling. <laughs> I don't know if I cut out a little bit there, so I'll show that one more time. There we go. So you can read it if, if you couldn't hear me. So this is a wonderful blend of cold-pressed sesame oil and uh, cold-pressed raw coconut oil with a little bit of essential oil of um, peppermint and spearmint in there. So in Ayurveda, sesame is really the king of all oils and the most nurturing and healing. So you'll notice in a few of my products are sesame oil in them. 
And it's because it really is nurturing on a cellular level. It's rebuilding the coating of that cell. And it's able to pull out because of its viscosity and because of all the nutrients in it, it's able to pull out those toxins and carry them out in a very easy way. And um, <laughs> when I first started doing oil pulling, I would just use coconut oil. I was a little adverse to the sesame because I didn't like the way it smelled or tasted. Also, in the very beginning, I wasn't using a cold-pressed oil. So uh, I've talked about this a little bit, but when oils are heat-treated, they change very drastically. And so it's really important that you're getting that cold-pressed oil because it actually is alive. It's still nutrient-dense, and it's actually feeding the microbe in and on your skin and in your soft tissue in your body and also in your gut. So if we're using oils that aren't cold pressed, meaning that aren't, I mean, there's a little heat that happens in there in the very beginning just to wake up the life force, but it's all done below a hundred degrees. Some of them are 70, depends on the different um, nuts and seeds, but predominantly most oils out there on the market are done somewhere around 500 degrees because it pulls out more oil. But what happens is you're killing off all of that good stuff, all the nutrient dense that's really serving your body. So, if you've ever had sticky oils or oils that like sit on top of your skin and kind of have a drag to it, you know right away you're using an oil that, that's been heat treated beyond and it's really started to, to go into that um, putrefaction stage or it's turned. And you can always smell when an oil has turned, when it's rancid. Um, and that, that's really no longer going to be good for you. So it's really important to use the cold pressed oils so I um, would first use just the coconut oil. And I remember like, it's so hard when it's at, you know, below um, a certain temperature and I'd be in my bathroom chopping it up and scooping it out and chewing on it. And, and I was like, there has to be a better way. This is just taking so much time and energy just to get my oil pulling. And so I really started working with that ratio so that it is predominantly that sesame oil it has that nice viscosity. Um, and now it's luscious. I use mine every morning. And like Catherine and I were talking about it, I've started doing it in the evening recently as a, another time. As I get older, I want to do this stuff more because I really want to keep everything in tip-top shape. I want to keep all the teeth. I want to keep all the gum tissue healthy, all that good stuff, right? So um, it's luscious to have that combination. And it's just joyful to, to just put that in my mouth. And it's, it's a really lovely experience. So for me, it's a very drastic experience from how I started and where it is now. And so I just have that even still, you know, years later, every morning when I put it on, I'm like, hmm, so luscious. So um, let me um, pop in here for a second. Yeah. So those are new to the cleanse. Um, Sachita will take us through these daily practices, like she's talking, starting with the morning, but then all her products, these beautiful cold pressed oils, you'll do self massage with them. There's other oils, and then there's like a beautiful, like yummy detox bath at night that she's got that we put in our bathtub. And there's so many practices, is what she's talking about, besides the diet for that cleanse. I see Sue had her hand up too. Oh yeah, go ahead. Hi. Um, I have a question about the oil pulling. Um, are we like using it like a mouthwash, like swishing it around, and then are we swallowing it? Do we spit it out? Um, because I brought, I bought all my goodies today, and oh. I have all my, and so I, uh, I was asked later, but I didn't know if I could start some of the basic things because I've been dry brushing. And I do do the tongue scraping, but I wondered if I could start on some of the basic things before the cleanse, or should I wait until next, you know, till next month? You can absolutely start now. That is the best question. So you can start anything that you are ready to start. You can also, you know, you and I will we'll talk really soon, Sue, and, and I can really mm -hmm. help you do every little detail. But I want to just answer that question because someone else may have that same one. So you do use it like a mouthwash in a way, meaning that you are going to swish it around, pull it through the teeth and all around, but you don't swallow it. It's going to be okay. filled with ama or toxins. So we do spit it out and then you do a little light rinse. Um, and I actually use the rinse I do afterwards is my saline that I use for my neti pot. I use the same thing and I just do a little swish of that um, after I've done my oil pulling. 
So you're not going to swallow it. You spit it out, but you do swish it. Just very similar to mouthwash, but even more. Like mm -hmm. with mouthwash, I don't really think you do as much. Like you really try to go through the teeth because you want to get into all the soft tissue all around. So you swish it through and around. Great. Thank you. Yeah. So, so Sajim is going to, you know, trying to give you the big picture of everything. You know, as soon as you're registered, then you fill out your intake form. That sets you up for your personal phone call interview with her while she gets you lined up for your personal cleanse. And then on the 21st of April, we have a group orientation together, which will be a lovely kickoff. And then the cleanse is April 24th through the 27th. And during those four days, we actually do meet as a group a couple nights a week, right? On a Zoom. Right, yeah. and then um, then we also have our own practices that we're just going to do ourselves. That she's helped us decide what can I fit into my life. I don't want to be overwhelmed, like she said, and have to do everything, especially if you're new to this. So please don't, you know, be concerned about it's too much or I, you know, where do I get all these things? Because she's your guide. We are getting the products in now that she makes at Karma. But she also says, right, that if you already have some products, use yours too. So it doesn't have to be just her products. Or, so, And that's why you get set up ahead of time. So you have all your things, your herbs, your foods, your, your products for the, the lovely self-love you're going to do every day. I'm trying to give you like a big picture overview. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I was getting so into my details. I can really talk for days and hours about all this stuff. So it, <laughs> it's kind of every time I open something, it's a whole can of everything. So, um, yeah, I, I want to just say we will have a couple of group orientation. I mean, a group um, check-ins during this, which is really nice. Um, and as well, you have two personal check-ins with me. So those work nicely because the group ones really give us a time to be together with that energy and you know one person's thing that they're talking about is actually going to serve other people as well and then it's also really nice to have that individual time because you know some things we're just not ever going to be super comfortable or even consciously want to think of when we're in your group energy and so that's the really nice thing about having that that one-on-one -on -one time is that I can help nurture you to even wake up to things that maybe you haven't even allowed yourself to think about or come into relationship with so those things are both as I've done this over the years I found that both of those things are actually really important um and I've seen so much growth in the people that I've worked with, also with myself, working one-on-one -on -one with someone that you can really feel comfortable with to lean into that work for yourself. So both of those things are really, um, I think, pieces that are different about this cleanse that I do. Even though it's a group, we have that time together. And what's cool for me is we're going to start with this four-day cleanse, but then Satjeev is going to come back and she has so many other things she can offer us. Yeah further cleanses, um, alkaline cleanses. It's really cool. Yes, and this is really a very gentle cleanse. My alkaline cleanse is a little more intense. It um, brings in the juicing element, which you could dabble in that with this one if you wanted to. If you're a longtime juicer like me, I actually do consistently do my morning juices during certain seasons during this cleanse um, because it's something that my body really craves and responds to. So with this one, it's a lot more about what's right for you. Very individual, very nurturing, very focused on the self-care. Um, and it's really such a great place to start just to get your toe dipped into this pond of self-care and self-mastery. Or if you've done a bunch of cleanses, it's a way to just, you know, reboot and reset and go a little bit deeper. Which we need after this past year. Whew, yes, absolutely. We need a big reboot. <laughs> Patricia, you got a question? Uh, would you focus a little bit about well, the, cl the cleanses I've done in the past have been mainly focused on the nutritional aspect of the cleanse. Would you, is that part of this cleanse? And would you talk about that a little bit? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, it's a huge component of this cleanse. 
So um, the, there's three different options that you have with this. So if this is your first time doing it, it's what this is what I offer you to start with. Um, and even if you've done a cleanse before, it's just nice the first time you're doing this one to start with that, that first step. And really, I encourage you, don't think of it as like step three is, you know, the best one. It's not that. Any version of this is going to be the best one if that's the right one for you. So that first step is a very seasonal diet, and it's called a poly diet, which means that it has not only the kitchery, which is very healing and very cleansing, and if this is the first time you've heard that word, it's um, a wonderful one dish that has a seasonal spice blend or masala that's very healing, and it also has um, split mung dal, uh, very easy for digestion, and a, a very high protein and fiber source, and basmati rice, long grain which is also very cleansing. Um, so that all gets cooked together. It's very easy for the body to bring in and process. It gives you your complete protein. It gives you um, this very hydrating um, spice blend that goes in as well. And that's the base of it. And then if it's your first time doing it, I'm gonna say do the poly diet where you can eat seasonal vegetables as well and also seasonal fruits. And so you get a whole list of what is seasonal for right now. And then I encourage you, you know, get your fruits and vegetables from your local farmer's market or your local places where you know that they're being grown locally and in the season. And then if you have done cleansing before or you've done a lot or you've done it with me, we'll talk about this if you want to do what's called the duo. And that is vegetables on top of the kitchen, which can be any way you like them. You know, right now for spring, sprouts are very um predominant because everything's just growing right so it's the very beginning of it so all of the vegetables are very baby um and then also you add the kitchery in as well and that's really that base foundation with those other things additional if you've done a lot of cleansing and you worked with me a lot then we, then we move to that mono where really all you're having is that kitchery and you're doing that for every meal, whether it's three meals a day or two meals a day or one, whatever is right for you. I would get up every morning and just make my big pot of kitchery. It was so easy. You know, yeah. While I I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the thing that's really nice is about a cleanse is it's taking away your nervous system's guesswork about what's going to happen or where am I going to get nourished or what am I going to have to process? And the more <laughs> options we take away, the more the nervous system knows exactly what to expect. So it, we can get into that autopilot in a very nurturing way, which means we have a lot of extra energy to do other things, which means clean the body out. Mm -hmm. So cleansing really means taking things down to a very um, easy level on our nervous system so that our body can do what it does naturally and just clean everything out, clean it, all the emotions that haven't been processed, all the physical stuff that hasn't been processed and just get that moving out of the body. And like Catherine said, there's all these wonderful dinacharya or daily routine things that we do, self-care practices that help move what we've pulled up through the diet and help move it out through the organs and the soft tissues. And one of those things is the abhyanga or the self-massage and we do that twice a day. So I have two different oils that we do. One is in the morning with our hydrotherapy. And one is in the evening after our wonderful detox bath that we do. Um, and you, if you're like, whoa, that sounds like a lot, you can just do your feet. That's the most important part to do in the evening. <laughs> is your foot massage. And then oftentimes I'll say, just do one day where you do both of them. So make it like on the Sunday or something and make it like your spa day. And you just do that whole two abhyangas and a nice long bath soak and everything. Lovely. Yeah. So I have a question. Yeah. Uh, so is, is the four day um, like a four day panchakarma? In a way, but you're doing it all yourself. But yeah. absolutely, you're doing oilation. And that's a huge part of panchakarma. So panchakarma is like the five different things. And so you really are doing all these different things, but you're doing them yourself. So the Ayurvedic spa is coming to you <laughs> through these <coughs> products and you're doing all of it yourself, but you really are doing a panchakarma for these. Yeah, things. you really are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Great question. Who else has a question? I I do. How how critical is the detox bath? Well, no. are you asking because you don't have a bathtub? Is no, I right now I'm terrified of a bathtub because of a accident I had. So, okay. sure. Well, how do you how do you feel about doing a foot soak? Oh, no problem. <laughs> Perfect. That's how you'll do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. And and that's the way everything's going to be. You're going to tell me what's going on with you, and I'm going to offer you an option. And if it works, that's how you'll do it. And if it doesn't, we'll just keep working until we found the combination that makes it seem nurturing for you, where you can lean into it. And, you know, I'm doing this cleanse with you. So okay. you have me and such even to reach out to. Yeah. For FaceTime, for questions, for calls. Yeah. We'll do it together. This is probably my, oh, I don't know, sixth, seventh, eighth cleanse, something like that. They're, they're such a great reboot. They really are. Yes. Yeah, and this year I've committed to offering one cleanse a month. So for my clients or different people, my students that I've worked with, they all know that this is the year of the cleanse. <laughs> and I'm doing that because we've been through such an intense time. And I really want to share how nurturing this is and how you can take such ownership of your own self-care by doing, like if, if you did two or three of these four days over the next rest of this year, you would see such a change in how you relate to your own schedule. And that's such a beautiful thing to start to see that, those rhythms. So mm -hmm. that's my commitment for 2021. It's the year of the cleanses. So, you know, when Sajiva was talking about the kitchery, so this is the mung beans and rice dish that you'll learn to make. She actually has the whole kit for you. It's called the nourishing bundle. If you didn't want to try and go to the Patel grocery store and figure it all out yourself, right? You've got the beans, the rice, the tea, and the spices, correct? Yes, everything. So you can do my cleanse in all different ways, which means you can be like, I want to get everything myself and I want to do it A to Z. Absolutely. In your booklet, I have a beautiful cleanse booklet that I've put together over the years and it tells you A to Z how to do everything. You can have it right in front of you. And even without me, you'd know how to do all of it, though I'm right there with you. All the recipes are in there and you could do it all that way. Or if you're like, whoa, I have no way to do that in my life. I put together two bundles and they're nicely discounted and they're on the shelves at Karma Yoga right now. Sue got hers yesterday. Um, one, like Catherine was talking about, is called the Nourishing Bundle. And that's all of the things that you do um, internally. So your oilation ghee is part of that, which I make for you and then package that up so it's all beautiful and organic and I chant while I'm making it and all that good stuff. So it's infused not only with the nurturingness of the ghee, but also with the love and the healing and all that wonderful stuff. And so that's part of the practice that we do first thing in the morning is oilation. So just like we're doing all the outside rubbing of oils, we do that inside too. And it's detoxing us. I also do a really nice blend, which is the CCF, which is a very traditional cumin, coriander, and fennel. This is a very gentle detoxing tea. And you can just do that one. Like I said, the recipes in the manual, you can do that. But I add six other herbs to that that also help with the flavor of it and also with what it does for the soft tissue in detoxing. So I put that tea together for you. We do 32 ounces of that daily. So you could just make that in the morning. That's how I do it. I make it in the morning. I put it in a little thermos. And then I just have it throughout the day. And um, I sometimes I get through all the need to remake for my bath. But it's definitely wonderful to have that cup of tea right before you take your bath because it really helps flush everything out or before you do your foot soak at night. So it helps flush everything out that very last little bit before you go to sleep. And then I also make um, kitchery packs that are already ready. And what that means is all the organic spices are pre-measured, pre-toasted, and then I put them in a little packet inside and then the organic split mandal is washed and soaked and then I actually dehydrate and so then it's dry in there. Same with the basmati rice. 
So you have a little packet that you just open, put in a pot, 10 cups of water, bring it to a boil, turn it down, simmer it till it's done, which is about 30 minutes, depends on your stove, whether you've got gas or electric, everything's a little different. But that's all you do, add water and cook. So if, if I was home, new to cleansing, I would totally want your packet because then I don't have to go figure it all out myself. Now I have all the spices and the beans and rice, but not in the beginning. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have the other, the other bundle, right? Yeah, and the other bundle is the self-care bundle. So that has your two baths in it, um, which one of them is called a grounding detox bath, and that's for day one and day four. And then the other one is called a support bath, and that's for day um, two and three. And they're just different blends in there. Um, I use really high quality Celtic sea salt that's super high on the minerals. So it's actually very similar to an Epsom salt. It has tons of minerals in it. So good for um, relieving any tension. Um, I blend that with baking soda and with some um, wonderful um, essential oils that really work on supporting the soft tissue and the elimination. And each of them are a little different in, in what, um, what they do. But they're very, very helpful um, to move all that stuff out because we've done all this work with the, the food and we've done all this work with our other routine. And so in the evening to do that last flush, it just lets you all the little stuff out of the dermis and the soft tissue just comes right out. Uh, and then the other products are the Abiyanga oils that I showed you earlier, the oil pulling. And... One I haven't talked about yet, which is the nausea oil. And this one is really amazing. So if there's one thing for spring that you would continue doing maybe even after this, this is what I would tell you to do. So after you've done your neti pot or your saline rinse, your cleaning of the sinuses and out into the ears and the respiratory, we do a little oilation internal with this blend um, it's sesame oil with a little olive oil, both cold pressed, raw and organic. And I do a little eucalyptus in there as well. So it really helps to clean and nurture everything. The benefits of this are, endless, to be honest, but very simply, it really helps us for seasonal allergies. It helps in the transition. And in spring, this is the highest time for any kind of seasonal allergies because all of the pollen is being created. So everything is shifting. And so it's really important that we're protecting and nurturing our whole um, respiratory and nasal and um, sinuses for this. So that is the um, self-care bundle. So those two bundles between that, it's everything you need, that in the book and me. <laughs> you have everything that you need. And we also do have daily yoga. I record the, the yoga practice and I send you that link. So you have that. You can do it any time of the day. It works best for you. Um, and then I also do a guided meditation and you get that recording. So same thing. Anytime in your evening that that works for you, you get to do that. I also do two of my energy healings, distance, group energy healing during the cleanse, which is amazing. Um, I use a lot of different modalities, um, Reiki, Satnam Rasaya, and all of my crystal bowls and bells and brass bowls and my gong and all of the crystals that I have. I set up healing grids during that. So it's a beautiful time. You just relax. I do the work. <laughs> and that happens twice during the cleanse too. That was so thorough. I want to keep to our time. Does anybody have any questions? That's a lot of information, beautiful information. And all of this is laid out on the website too. And if you go to our Karma Yoga Instagram channel, Sajivan and I have several interviews we've done talking about more of this. And so you can re-watch those videos. And you can always reach out to me with questions, Sajivan with questions. But now you can understand why this is something that is such a beautiful gift to give to yourself and plan on and like already see that, okay, that part in April, everybody, it's all about me for four days. And you plan that with your home, your family, your life. And it's this lovely little gift that you're looking forward to giving yourself. So you do want to plan ahead. You want it to be very special, very sacred time. Absolutely. And like Sue was asking, can you start step at a time? And absolutely. So 
the sooner you get that figured out, the sooner I'll go through all the, the pre-work with you and then you'll have everything. You can do as much or as little as you want ahead of time. You can start just with, oh, I just want to start doing seasonal diet. You'll have your whole seasonal food list. So you could even just start stocking your house that way. And so you do a little pre-cleanse that way. Maybe you've never made kitchen before. You want to try that out ahead. All those different things. You can right. do all that prep work. And then you have so much access to me ahead of time to ask any questions that come up. And that's what makes it so graceful for you is all that time to really just do it in your own rhythm of ease and just have so much time and do it just so graceful and joyously.